the giant Earthship Ark, drifting through deep space over 800 years into the far future. Its passengers, the descendants of the last survivors of the dead planet Earth, locked in separate worlds, heading for destruction. Unless three young people can save the Star Lost. Hello and welcome to another another episode of What If It Could Come Back and this week we're going to be talking about 1973's The Star Lost. Yes, I know I've covered it and could have been a classic but we're going to be talking about what if this came back. Now this was created by Harlan Ellison. Uh, it was his concept but he fell out uh, before the airing of the series and he cleared off. So then what happened to this series was beyond mind control totally uh now it's sort of interesting this the concept of this series it really is it was shown i think we got this in the uk i'm sure i remember it as a kid uh but it was shown on american and canadian television uh you can get this on dvd and i've just uploaded the entire series to youtube now, you, I, I've been reading the comments on this series and it is sort of quite interesting. Some people have quite a love for it. It's bad. Uh, it's good. I mean, there is so much potential with this series. The concepts alone is a very interesting idea. It's like Logan's run in outer space. But we're going to be talking about what if this could be brought back today in 2023. Now, the original series, full of plot holes, never made any sense. I, I mean, they just screwed the budget on this. Even for 1973, this is terrible. But I do love this series. I, I, I've been, I have to admit, I've been sort of magnetised watching it. I don't know why it's that bad. You know, but there is some decent episodes in it. And the, I mean, the guest stars in, in this is, I mean, there's quite a few of them. Angela Bastido, uh, John Calicos, you know, and, and several other actors, uh, Walter Koenig. Now, it's interesting, out of all the episodes, what, what I put up, episode seven with Walter Koenig got more views than the rest of the entire series. And he and he's the only re reoccurring character that does return now before we start where this could go today originally uh harlan ellison was approached uh, by uh, somebody called robert klein who wanted he was doing something for the bbc and uh, the they were going to pitch this to the bbc as an eight-part sci-fi series and obviously there were lots of problems the studio the filmed in were too small the bbc turned it down harlan ellison changed his name Ben Bova was science scientific advisor or they got him on there. He was very disgruntled with the series and they kept cutting the budget. So Star Loss went down the toilet of eternity, never to be seen again. And uh, it has popped up. I mean, I've seen it pop up. I bought this on DVD a few years ago. And uh, it has its own channel on Roku. There's a whole channel dedicated to Star Lost. All the episodes are on the channel. If you've got Roku, uh, you'll find it. Star Lost. All the episodes, the whole channel, the whole channel dedicated to it. Which I have to say, I'm quite impressed. So Star Lost, it does linger. It's there. And thank you for the comments on the videos I uploaded. I found it fascinating seeing people's reactions to this series. So let's go and see where we would take Star Lost today. Now, I wouldn't change anything on this. I think the first episode stands out really well. 
you know, if you can get past the cheesy effects, because like I said, for 1973, this it, the effects are terrible even, even for then. But what I'm saying about this series is that the pilot episode for this series is solid and it stands today. So I'd start off the story with the same three characters and uh, Devon uh, starts questioning the dome they live in. It's, he knows something's not right and he comes from this like culture that's quite primitive but they're like farmers. That it, it really sort of like sort of a really old sort of culture and uh, I'd go with it that all the domes are, were connected and everybody works with each other uh, I'd make the ship a lot bigger I'd say it's 500 miles like wide 500 miles long so you get more sort of space in there with more domes it'd be bigger and uh, there was a crew Every, like, everything was connected it's like a one big super world and so some accident happened on the ship and then all the domes to be protected got closed off from each other there were people trapped in between the domes they were the crew and then all like the main reactors went out the ship's still running perfectly but it's just it's main engines out it can't go to warp or anything like that it's just drifting through space and it's heading towards the star and its mission is is to find a planet to settle all these different cultures of Earth. And each so like Devon gets in, he figures it out, and he he his own people are going to kill him because they think he's a blasphemer. And he makes this old guy who years ago sort of step through one of the doors because he had this key, got freaked out, and he he went back in, and. Devon's going to do a runner because he loves Rachel and Garth's there. And I just continue the story. Devon goes outside. He does the runner. The doors closed. They're all there. Going to burn him. And, you know, his people in Cypress Corners. And he discovers what's going on. And then he goes back into Cypress Corners. They accuse him of being evil. He gets Garth and Rachel and they all escape, he tells them there's something else outside of this and they find his computer and the computer tells them basically what, what they're on they're on this big ship that's a thousand miles long or five hundred miles long wide I, I'd go a thousand, I'd go five hundred miles long a thousand miles across this thing's a massive piece of technology and it should have arrived at some planet 300, 400 years ago and, uh, and with all these domes, uh, they come across numerous characters that live in between the corridors and people still carrying on with the mission but with no purpose, you know, they're still following their instructions. Like there's one episode in the original series where they think they found the backup bridge in a dome and it's not, it's just a training simulation and Devon figures it out and they become knowledgeable and and that's it each week they end up in a dome and and there's each dome's weird it's created its own society i'd have each dome about 30 miles in size so it's like it's like a whole world there's domes with oceans in all kinds of environments and different civilizations but they've all gone insane because they all got cut off so in a way it's like logan's run in outer space <coughs> and the bridge the proper bridge He's right at the front of the ship and they've got to get to it. But obviously there's all kinds of things on the ship they've got to figure out. Now, the alien Oro, I'd have him running the dome. He's trying to get the ship. He arrived a few years ago. He, he got stranded. He, his ship was lost in space and he's trying to get the Ark. He's going to use it to get to his planet so they can strip it for its technology and enslave all the people. I'd have him there and he's, he's, he's worshipped as like some kind of god in a dome and Devon and, and Garth and Rachel turn up and undo him in this like two part and he escapes and I'd have, that's it, he'd like they're in pursuit of him I'd have him where they're in pursuit of him and uh, then some of the stories in the original series I would use 
like the John Calicus, like the Dome of Warriors. Obviously, it just won't be made. Like, it's a whole race of warriors in a dome, you know, and and then they end up going to a sealed dome where there's like these. We find out four, five hundred years ago, there was one dome that tried to invade the others, but it all got stopped. The computer acted and sealed them in. They can't get out, and they've got highly advanced technology. But the one thing they can't do is leave, and they end up in there. And they have to find people to get these reactors going. And each week, I'd, I'd start making and build a network of certain people with skills. And I'd have them pursued by somebody as well. Somebody gets out of a dome somewhere and is after them. Because they realise if you control the art, you control everything. And they've got to get to the central thing. And, and that's what I do. I think you could milk five seasons out of this. I really do think you could. And each week, they'd be like, I'd have it like a storyline. I'd keep the mystery of the Ark a secret. You know, and you could have it where some people, like some religious fanatics, like there's a dumb. They were the ones that caused the accident. Like these, they've got this thing. They want to end the human race, but they're in the dumb and they've, when it all went wrong, their religion became everything. Like they believed that the ark should go into a star. But like a lot of these people that live in these domes and all this, like there's a jungle dome, there's an ocean dome where it's just like an underwater civilization. Do you remember that film Silent Running? But like domes, like loads of domes, all kinds of domes with different types of civilizations in there. And in these domes, they'd have like Roman dome, like a Roman Empire dome. Uh, there's a dome run by androids and and stuff. Uh, there'd be things going on. They, they come across strange people in the corridors of the ship, you know. And just the concepts of this alone. But I'd have Oro as the reoccurring villain in the background. He'd turn up every couple of episodes. Because his mission is to get the Ark back to his planet. And he knows how to get the reactors going so that it can move. But, like, this disaster, it's, I'd, I'd, put, I'd have a time limit that is two years away. So they've got two years to save the ship and put it on course to this other planet. Because even though they're past the target planet where they originally they were going, what I would do, I'd have all this where there's a backup planet where they can turn the arc to another Earth. You know, and and the computer is insane. The, you know the computer that's running it. It's sort of not fully working. It it's doing odd things. But I'd build that up. I bring the like main computer Oro in season three. That's when you start realizing, and you start finding out about this accident. Who these like death cultists that wanted to destroy you, man? They're all locked in a dome. They were cause of it. I mean, there's so much we could do with this series. And we come across a space like a police force. They're just flying around the Ark. But they I don't know, they've just been generations of just flying around the Ark because they, they, they don't know what purpose they set. They're just following these rules, you know, for centuries. I'd have the medical one as well. But... Like Devon's character, he starts reunif. How do you say the people that are that know about it? He starts unifying them all, and by the fourth season, they get to the bridge and start taking control. But there's certain forces that don't want this. I'd also have somebody to find somebody in suspended animation who survived the disaster. Now it could have been an alien attack. It could have been. Uh, Sabotage, there's all kind, we're aiming towards something big. Also, like the destruction of Earth, as whatever happened to Earth is very well connected into this. It, it, it's like somebody on board, it, there's somebody there, a guiding hand, and they, and they find, I, I don't know, I'd say two people, the person that caused it all could be alive in suspended animation, the wake. Oro could wake him up, and then. It's like they're after him. I mean, you bring in a couple of villains, you know, with these insane agendas. But each week, I'd say for the first three seasons, we get close, kind of trying to get to the bridge. And they start finding people. 
that understand the technology. Some people have just, they know the technology inside out, but they don't leave where they exist, you know. So it's like different worlds that every, even in the corridors, there could be like security robots they have to avoid that could, you know. But they get to the bridge, and at the end of the series, there's like a bit of a battle with Oro. He gets killed, and this other human who got had this agenda who was the cause of it all. He gets stopped, and and they manage to turn the ship towards this planet. And I just have it where the arcs heading towards the planet. They get on a smaller ship and land on this world, and it's beautiful. And that's where you take it. Because, I mean, even after that, you could put in a sequel series. It's about how, when all the domes open up. Because in the final episode, all the dome doors open up. Because the arcs reached its, its aperture, you know, the planet. And all, and all these people come wandering out and everything sort of... They've fixed the computer and it's not insane anymore. And it starts, everything starts resuming normal. But I'll finish it where they land on a planet... And this is our new home, and and that's it. And it's good. it could be interesting. All these different societies, and all this. Where do you go with it? What 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 do you do with it? I mean, it, it would be extremely interesting, wouldn't it? But the potential of this series, I think it could be redone. A ten-part series, Netflix, five seasons, but solid stories. The original series had potential. Like, it really did. It had so much potential. I mean, I'd say this is like Logan's run of outer space. You know, and I just, it could be done. They could remake this series. I really do. But my, my, my feeling in this is give the original series a chance. Watch it. Try and see it like how I've seen it. I see so much in this. I know the I know it's bad and some of the stories and plot holes are all over the place. But if this was refined, if Alan Ellison had have probably got the full potential of this series, I really do think this would have been amazing. And Star Lost would have been one of them series for yeah, I like that. That would cool. I mean, you know, K. Dullard, I think he gives what he can. The actors in the original were stuck with what they had. They kept cutting the budgets and and that's it but some of the story writing in the original series is solid like the pilot stands out and you could start with the first episode of this like that but get some really like good stories going with each dome and a big conspiracy sort of a big story arc in the background with things in it you know so that's my sort of feelings and uh I think this could be remade, and that's what I think. Let me know what you think, and I will see you on the next video. I only do these could have been come, could it come back every now and again? It's finding something where you think, yeah, that could come back. So I'm going to go, and uh, you have a great day, and I'm going to say live long and prosper. Please subscribe, give us a like, and let us know your thoughts.